my mouth is so dry. Too much baked ziti, too much pumpkin pie. Oh, Christmas, you did it to me again! <sighs> Hi, my name is Gabriel Manic. I'm an actor and I'm, oh, I'm thirsty. Okay, it's been a while since I've been here. We're at Red Hair Brewery in Marietta, Georgia. Another Marietta stop. Marietta, it's a great, it's a merry name for a Merry Christmas holiday, right? Merry Christmas, Eddie. I, uh, hey, don't hire me to name new towns, okay? You new towner hiring people. Anyway, so here at, a, at I believe, the third oldest at Metro Atlanta Brewery, I think it's about ten and a half years old. Good old Gabby at the bar uh, told me about that. Really cool, really cool bartender. Um, let's see. And apparently, the candy line that they use. So this apparently, Red Hair. What they're known for is that they are the oldest. They are the first brewery in in, a, in Georgia that used a, a candy line. The first one to use a candy line. And coincidentally, is the candy line from Coca-Cola. Pretty neat. So I got the chocolate orange stout, which as soon as I heard that, I'm like, oh man, who doesn't like a good chocolate orange? Jared and I were talking about Terry's, like chocolate oranges, the ones that actually shaped up. We might have to go buy some of that, right? Good stuff. Yeah, definitely good stuff. So obviously I have to jump on this. So let's give it a shot. First bite, first bite, cheese. First sips, the one that counts when you're thirsty. trying to find the orange. Maybe I was supposed to get a garnish. I don't know, like get an orange garnish, like, like a blue moon. You can kind of get it on the back end a little bit, like the, the citrus a little bit. There's a little bitterness. I mean, it's, it, it's a good stout. It's a good stout. But where is the chocolate orange? You gotta have the chocolate orange. You, I don't know if I'm being too loud. You know, we usually film this stuff outside, so <clears throat> people can't hear this stuff. I'm, I'm pretty disappointed that the orange is not in here. Again, it's a good stout. If you want a stout, this is great. Take the orange off. Maybe there's chocolate in there, like dark chocolate. Dark chocolate definitely is there. That's where the bitterness is coming from. But there's no orange, so... That actually might not be a bit. I'm gonna suggest that to them, to put an orange garnish. That's a great idea. Oh, man, that... That's okay, and it's so crazy because today I filmed a video for talking my talking live channel where I talk about gr gratitude is the greatest gift you can give yourself and others. And here I'm not being grateful. I'm a, I'm a, uh, what's the word? Hypocrite, maybe. It's not there. Still, like I said, a good stout. By the way, to everybody who's been checking out the Story of Christmas album on iTunes or Spotify, uh, Amazon, or the music videos on YouTube, thank you so much for doing that. Here, I'm grateful for that. Thank you so much. That was, like I mentioned in previous reviews, one of the best experiences of my life, being working in the studio and recording that album. So, and I'm, I hope that comes through as you listen to it. Okay, so Marietta, Georgia, Red Hair Brewery. They have a second location that's about a year and a half old off on the square, which I'll have to check out. And they've got cocktails, they've got spirits. It's really, really cool. Yeah, look, get a shot of that, look at that. Uh, yeah, they got vodka, they got gin. Uh, it's, it's all good. They got rum, vodka, gin, all the good stuff. So, so husbands, guys, if your girlfriend or your wife, she's like, I don't like beer, honey. It makes it makes me full. They're like, all right, hey, you know what? Red hair, they can make a cocktail. So you make them happy. You know, happy wife, happy life. <clears throat> 
Okay, so the orange chocolate stout, I'm going to have to give it a 6.5. I'm going to give it a 6.5 because, again, it's a good stout. If you want a stout, for the, especially during this cold weather, it's perfect for a stout. But it's not, there's no orange in it. That's, that's what happens here on Thirsty Actor Thirsty Actor Beer Reviews. Can you be thirsty and still have food? I guess like if you eat something salty enough, you get really thirsty while you eat. I don't know. But anyway, hope you're having a great holiday season and we'll see you on the next review.